So today we are going to talk about Wi-Fi. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about the Wi-Fi. And then some people said that, why do I need to go into the lab when I can actually look at the Wi-Fi at the top right there? You can see there's a Wi-Fi 6 at the top there. So why do I need to go to a Wi-Fi lab? Okay, so what I'm talking about right now, I'm going to show it to you. And then inside the lab, that's actually there's more features I'm going to explain to you uh, one by one. And then uh, you're going to take a look and see if it helps you. So when we scroll down like this, we can go straight into the Wi-Fi. And then we can go to details. And then we can go to the three dot. Doesn't matter which phone you have. Most of the S series and the Note and the S and the Z series, they will have it. And then you can see there's an intelligent Wi-Fi. So we're going to go into the intelligent Wi-Fi. And then right here, you want to go into, you see the lab right here. If you do not see a lab right down there, you just need to keep tapping the intelligent, intelligent Wi-Fi until it say it turns on. Once it turns on, you want to go into the lab. And here, we are not just looking into the Wi-Fi 6. A lot of people thought that in here, we are looking into the Wi-Fi 6. Are you in the Wi-Fi 6 or not? We are not looking into that. We are looking into more in-depth about your own Wi-Fi. Your band, your gigahertz, okay? What type of Wi-Fi you're using? Yes, you can see your Wi-Fi 6 is right, right up here. However, if you're on the public Wi-Fi, it's not necessary, it's going to be the same Wi-Fi. You're going to understand that part. In here, this is the most important in this lab in unsecure Wi-Fi. You're going to understand this part. If you don't understand this unsecure, unsecure Wi-Fi, basically you went on certain Wi-Fi that is unsecure. And then let's just say if you are go, uh, doing something important, very, very careful because it's unsecure. Some people can hack you, okay? So this is very important. Do not go into these Wi-Fi because it's unsecure, okay? So now let's get back out. And then we are gonna go inspect your home Wi-Fi by walking around your house. We are not just sitting down here and said that like, okay, this area is strong, it's good, but what about the other side of the house? So you need to go into your own Wi-Fi, read the numbers and press next, press next, press start and use this chart and walk around your house and see which part of your house is strong, which part of your house is weak. Negative 30, 20, okay, you can see that 20, 17, these are really good numbers. However, if you go to a certain area, it could be down to like negative 70, 80, and that area, that part of your house, don't put anything there because it just doesn't uh, run uh, your laptop, it doesn't run your phone, it doesn't do anything, or you need some Wi-Fi booster. That's why you need to see what's happening around your house. You walk around and see how the graph shows you. And this is the whole point of using this lab to go around and see how the graph works. And you can take a look. I can show you right now. If I go inside there, if I use someone else Wi-Fi, let's just say I, go, I use someone else, right? You can see the number is really bad. Negative 84, negative 60, 63, right so you know that if it's like higher the number negative 20 24 25 using 5g 5g so you know it's great now you just go home and uh, go there and go around your house and just check your wi-fi and that's it and this, this is the purpose of using the lab now let's just go back outside and then there's one more thing that we want to do inside your right here so right at the bottom here you want to switch to mobile data faster so this is one of the way that let's just say if your wi-fi is weak they will switch you uh, switch your mobile data faster however using this not necessary it works really well if you have two bar or one bar left on your wi-fi it might not necessarily switch to mobile data so you have to use your mode and routine to set that up so let's just say if your wi-fi is down to two bars it will automatically switch to mobile data okay so you can use this and then you can use mode and routine as well too so basically using labs that's the reason why you need to use a lab not because just to look for wi-fi 6 
there is a lot more you can do with that, okay? Switch to better Wi-Fi. If you go back outside, go to intelligent Wi-Fi, there's a, this thing called switch to better Wi-Fi network. This might not work when you are at your home, but when you're outside, let's say in the public, this might work. So you might want to turn that on and detect suspicious network. You want to turn this on as well too. So anything suspicious and secure, they will detect and they will just like not going to connect that Wi-Fi and then that's it. This is the most this is the most important information that you should know about using the lab and using intelligent intelligent Wi-Fi. Please subscribe my channel and share this video and I hope this video explains to you why do you need labs for your information is because you want to check more than just knowing that you're using Wi-Fi 6. Please subscribe and I hope you see you next time. Bye bye. Peace out.